We welcome to Clovis Carver Library here in Clovis, New Mexico. You hear the uh, Clovis, New Mexico Astronomy Club is hosting uh, Astronomy Day where we'll be viewing the sun, the moon later on, and uh, late when it starts, we will be viewing uh, Jupiter and maybe some deep space objects. So, Hello, I'm Art Brooks and welcome to my channel. So, let's get a little closer and we'll uh, see what's going on. Here we have a uh, manual scope. So these these uh, scopes are equipped with solar filters for viewing safety. Yeah, you don't want to look directly at the sun, of course, during a solar eclipse or because of the retinal damage that can happen if you, want, if you look directly at the sun. You see that? That's our uh, that's the library's uh, advertising page. And then, Back here we have another scope with, with a camera on the back end and the image of the sun is displayed on a laptop computer which we have inside this box. We have a, 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 a mother and her daughter who's, who's here to get their view. See the sun's image. Maybe I'll get a better image display of the sun later on, so keep watching. So I have to get underneath the tail to see the screen. As you can see, that that's the sun. You put the telescope. I don't know if you can see any sunspots. Yeah, no noticeable sunspots. Maybe later. I'm going to try to get a, a video of the uh, sun through this manual scope, so we'll see what we can do. Yes, I know. Yeah, there it is. That's probably about the best I can do. It's hard, it's hard, it's hard to keep the uh, camera aligned with the camera, uh, telescope uh, lens. Same mother and her uh, daughter is also getting a view in the manual scope. Yeah. Yeah, her daughter is going to get her own view. Now you get the ladder next to the uh, scope. This will conclude the uh, sun viewing uh, side of this activity, so later on tonight when it's get darker, I'll be back and we'll be viewing the sun, the moon, as well as maybe Jupiter and maybe some deep space objects, so see y'all then. It's now uh, 7.30 in the evening part of our activity, we're now viewing the moon. It's a little darker, we've got a nice looking sunset. Let's go closer and uh, see if we can get a view of the moon. The booth of the telescope. It's over here. What's on this one? The moon. Same thing? It's all the moon. Yeah. Are you trying to get in the eyepiece store? Sure. It's a nice wide eyepiece. Here's the moon, but it's not getting in focus on the see the craters. Here we are, here we are. Quick 
crested moon here at the first quarter, but you can see the uh, craters over there. I'm going to call you another view on this go. Changed on the automatic scope, so we're going to take another look at the moon. We need a better crater detail. Oh, yeah, much larger as you can, you can see better crater detail. That's real good. Real good. Okay, do the view through the wide manual telescope. Now we have the automatic scope set on Jupiter. I'll zoom in on it. Just above the street line here. There it is. You see Jupiter in the center of the picture. Zoom back out and we'll look into the, uh, uh, the, the telescope's uh, lids and view it. Yeah, you had at the bottom of the uh, screen. Yeah, the white dot you see at the bottom of the screen, that, that is Jupiter. What's even harder to see is the uh, four Galilean moons. They're easy to see if you directly view into the scope, but they're just not showing up on the camera. Maybe later on when it gets dark, we'll get a better view of it. We just readjusted the scope, so we should, should have a better view of Jupiter. Let's get the camera next to the uh, light piece of this. Pretty decent, you can see the uh, four Galilean moons. Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. All four are showing up when you view directly. Uh, you view directly through the viewfinder. Okay, now, in conclusion, this was a, this was a recently good uh, turnout. We've had a few families show up for this uh, uh, astronomy club event. So we got the moon, and the sun, the moon, and the planet Jupiter, all of this this uh, activity. So fun night, and, and uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>